Axel, welcome to the stream. Toaster, welcome to the stream as well. I'm gonna give just give it a uh, couple couple seconds here of just chill time to let people actually hop into stream. Crystalline Thunder, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking out. I appreciate you. Super Mario 64, welcome to the stream. A controversial topic. How could you? In my Christian chat. I hope you're all having a great day. Um, this is going to be an interesting challenge. I've already done the first little bit of it here, so I know it's it's possible to at least do parts of it. Uh, we'll see exactly how well that goes over. Also, my window's open because it's really hot in here and I need air. But uh, yeah, so if you hear airplanes, that's why. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're all having a great day yet again. JJK Gamer, welcome to the stream. Hope you're all staying safe and inside, at least in a relatively indoors fashion. Okay, let's go ahead and get uh, in here. It's hot because you're in there. Oh, gee, thank you. Okay, so first I'm going to explain vaguely the rules. Um, they're still kind of a work in progress. And as you can see, we've done the Deku tree already. I'm using that for something else. Don't tell anybody. But, yes. So, the idea here is that we're not allowed to use our stick here to turn our character at all. That's a no-go. That, that ain't gonna work out. Uh, Joe, welcome to the stream. Did, did, did I get my name from Soul Calibur from Keelik from Soul Calibur? Yes, I did actually. He was my favorite character in Soul Calibur 2. Uh, so this challenge is basically the only method of movement that we can use is Z-targeting. It'd be Z-targeting like all the time. This is not allowed. Everything else is basically allowed. So that brings up some interesting, uh, you know, methods of having to change directions via doing things like, uh, say, I don't know, like looking at a sign or something like that, or uh, being on a ledge, and kind of dictating when you actually release and allow yourself to push Z targeting again to change your direction. As well as, you know, like entering and exiting a room could also change your direction. The only thing that's not allowed is using this to change your direction. That's it. Simple concept, but I have a feeling that it's not going to go quite as swimmingly as the first level did. I got very lucky with Goma, and it was definitely possible to do it. I do leave the forest someday, no turn, because you are different from me and my friends. Okay, well, this is very sweet and everything, but I have a feeling I'm turning right now, and I'm not really appreciative of it. If I'm being honest, Also, you have to let me know how buffering and stuff is. I changed a couple settings around on YouTube to hopefully make it less um, less buffery and stuff. So it should be better. It should be better, and I should still be able to stream to multiple platforms, which is uh, inclusive, which is kind of what I'm all about here. So I would really like to actually be able to do that. But yeah, so I would like uh, somebody be to be in charge of <laughs> if I'm like neck deep in a puzzle or something. Um, Volador, sorry if I said that incorrectly, uh, but welcome to the stream. Nonetheless, thanks for checking it out. I appreciate you. Doing an interesting challenge run. But yeah, so if I'm like super focused on something and someone asks, you know, what the challenge is, if you just to kind of explain that, I would really be appreciative of that. It shouldn't be too bad because I'm sure you'll find out there's a lot of thinking time here. You're a super fan of mine. Well, thank you so much for saying that. And I appreciate that. I need a little bit of encouragement from time to time, so I appreciate it. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And staying safe. That's the more important part. But yeah, this is going to be very interesting, especially when it comes around to... Um, especially when it comes around to combat. Combat is very tricky, and the quick uh, spin attack is very, very, very useful to us. Uh, Joe, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking it out. Or I guess you were here before. Sorry about that. But thank you so much for the $2 donation. I do appreciate it. It should be popping up here pretty dang soon. And yeah, thanks for checking it out. So this is another instance of how we would, uh, in essence, be able to change direction. Are you guys getting buffering already? 
All right. It, if you guys are getting buffering already, then I'm going to go ahead and just switch to a single platform. Because that's I'm not really interested in that. TY, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking it out. I appreciate you. Uh, do let me know when you see buffering. Because I am multi-streaming right now. And on my preview, it actually looks good on my preview. Also, there's that plane again. Don't tell anybody. Uh, but yeah. So let me know if you see a whole bunch of buffering. Marco, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking it out. Appreciate you. Uh, Justice, welcome to the stream as well. Thank you as well. Yeah, let me know if you see a bunch of buffering. It looks clear on my side, so I, I don't know exactly what the problem is. But I did tweak some settings, so hopefully it's working fine so far. Okay, good, good. If the general consensus is that it's working. So what happened? Did I get all that? I certainly did, my boy. You're not going to trick me with your reverse, reverse menuology. So what happened was I had it set to like ultra low latency mode, which doesn't really... You had to set me up this way, didn't you? You really had to be that boy, huh? Okay. Anyway, so getting to Hyrule Castle is going to be a bit of an interesting one. I think... No, we're not quite set on our angle yet. Looks great. Okay, good to hear. So yeah, I, I had it set to a lower latency mode so I could ideally communicate a little bit faster with you guys. And I can definitely see the difference in my preview stream, but... I think a smoother experience is, is a bit more important, especially since we're not playing... If we are playing something like Hearthstone or something, then I probably wouldn't worry about it too much. But, uh, but yeah, since it's something I'd really rather not have buffering all the time. A stream where you don't need to be the death count referee, you severely overestimate my abilities. I, I don't think we're going to make this. No, we made it. Okay, we're good. Don't be night, though, please. Can it please not be night? I think it just turned into night. That's really annoying. Okay, well, anyway. It's fine. It is a fine. Also, I will end up accidentally, like, moving a little bit from time to time. Just because of how this game kind of operates. And it's actually really difficult to carry Z-targeting from one screen to the next without, like, remembering, basically. And, hey, your clothes, they're different. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, again, you are severely overestimating my abilities. Yeah, you're the boy from the forest. It's fine. I really wish this text was a little faster. That'd be great. See, now I have a problem because I've Z-targeted onto her. I don't know if that should be allowed. Like, I'm technically not moving this stick, right? So this is where I leave this to you. When I did the Deku Tree, I did not allow myself to Z-target off of enemies and change my angle that way. Because, um, I don't know, it just seemed a little too easy, honestly. But should that be allowed? Not moving the stick. But it also makes it significantly easier to do anything. So, uh, yeah, just interesting little tidbits that you don't really think about. Can I help you? Again, we're talking to this damn bird. How about can your abilities be in the game you play thousands of time? Yeah, but I'm only allowed to look in one direction and I can't Z-target onto enemies. Can I? I don't know. See, that's, that's the hard part. I was Ideally, I would not Z-target onto enemies. That would make things a lot more difficult, right? That Then it's more of a challenge. I do not want to hear what you said again. I don't even know what you said, and I don't care. Thanks. It's technically, I'm not using the stick. But what I think I've come down to is that uh, Z-targeting onto enemies is highly frowned upon, but not something that we should maybe rule out. I don't know. Alakazam of Time. I love that. That is amazing. Thank you so much for checking out the stream. I uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. Surely Z-targeting is how you would turn. You would think that. But check this out, my boy. Okay, so. While we have a little bit of time here, I'm going to kind of explain some of the tools that I have in my toolkit here, right? So, so, okay, check this out. I'm walking off of this. Now, you notice I did the turnaround. I did the turnaround grab. That's very important. That's actually very good for me. Um, so I can actually turn forwards or backwards based off of this ledge position because I grab. Oops. So if I were to Z-target now and pull myself up, I'll actually be looking towards the ledge. To whereas if I pull myself up and then Z-target, I'm actually looking away from the ledge. Yeah, the Deku Tree took about an hour and a half to complete. So it, it was interesting. But I don't know, it, it just seems like it kind of... We'll see how far we can get without it, maybe. 
What about changing the view to first person? Nope. Can't do it. This is what we're left with. We have to do this. So I I defeated Goma like this, bear in mind. It wasn't exactly easy, but I mean we did it. And the only way that we can actually get back to our normal mode is to uh, use the sword or a Deku stick. So it's gonna be a little different. And the only way that we can get our rollback is to use a well, that didn't work. Okay. So yeah, there are limitations, is what I'm saying. But I think that's kind of the fun of it. It is a challenge. Just put a neck brace on and you'll be fine. That's fair. I think you're around here somewhere. Okay, so like, is that allowed? I don't know. Would you mind finding my dad, Mer? Oh, I bet I could use. Could I use the? Could I use the item to change my orientation? Interesting. I haven't actually had an actually haven't had a quest item yet that I've been able to uh, mess around with. So I don't know. Like, opening up chests changes your orientation. Just took a poo-poo. I'm glad, dude. Honestly. Like, if we're being real, that's great. Big news. So, yeah. We'll see exactly how all this works out. I'm thinking that, um... Uh, you know. We'll see. We'll see. I know that I'm gonna need this bad boy. And something that you don't really think about is there's actually an angle whenever you walk forward that you can you can kind of like move yourself at a slight angle. So like grabbing onto this vine is a disaster right now, right? So this is one of those scenarios where, but it's totally possible, right? So th this is one of those scenarios where being able to Z target onto her would make things significantly easier. But does it make it too easy? Not really a challenge if anyone can do it now, is it? Uh, th there was one, uh, one spot in the... Uh, oh, actually, so if I if I grab onto this, just gotta get the right angle here. Okay, so for this instance, I'm gonna go ahead and just for the sake of stream, <laughs> so I don't have to sit here and do this for an hour and a half, I am gonna reorient myself on Malon. Here, because I do think there's a way that you can, you can make that happen by... Slamming yourself against the wall, grabbing the wall, unzi targeting, rezi targeting, moving yourself slightly forward and then, or moving yourself slightly to the left, and then going on that way. Now this is going to be a disaster. Actually, no, it's not, because I can just do this, and then we're fine. No, why are you like this, Link? Why don't you do the other way? Easy. It was like it's it's like nothing's even different, guys. So yeah, there is there's. There's a bit of depth to this, honestly. And if you're willing to, like, put in the time, you, you, you could make this a very significantly difficult challenge. I am quick saving, by the way, so... If, um... I'm not looking to make things too repetitive. Once I do a thing, as far as I'm considered, it's done. No, I'm not looking to do it again another million times. Unknown, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking out. I appreciate you. Got ourselves a bit of a goofy challenge here. So we're going to see, uh, you know, how, how how well it works out. He isn't using the control stick. Yep. Water gets a little bit interesting because you're kind of forced to turn in some instances. Like, how am I supposed to do this? Right? Like, I don't know, dude. What happens if I Ocarina? Does it do anything? It doesn't do anything for me. Backflip? Nope. Item? Item turned me. That's huge. That's actually mad. I need. I need to hold on to this egg. Actually, bro, that's that's massive. How did I turn? I actually don't know how I turned there. Did I turn this on? How did I turn against that wall? I I need to figure out that mechanic. God, there was something funny that happened with this egg, but I don't know exactly what it was, but... Yeah, that's... that's big. And I need to know how I did that. <laughs> that's basically gonna save this run as long as I have an item. Alright, so we're just chilling here. Why did your message appear like three times in the video? It should've just appeared just once. Oh, I think it's... oh. I know what it is. I, I can fix it real quick. 
The chat is probably drunk, honestly. But I think I need to fix my, uh... I have a set to relay mode. Okay, I'm just gonna tr turn the chat relay off for right now. Because it's obviously not working. It is because I'm streaming to three places at once, but it still shouldn't be... It's like a function of the thing. It, it shouldn't be... Shouldn't be messing up that bad. So this should change my orientation to Walton Tarnation. Man, sorry about that. Got out of the damn way. I'm trying to do a thing. I think there's a way you can kind of cheese this. I'm pretty sure we don't actually have to do both of these boxes here. Which is good because box mechanics are a little complicated too. Actually, this is great that it puts me over that way. That means I can push that box. <laughs> Chat bad. Alright, so... Grab one of these bad boys. Perfect. I think using the egg will only face you in a certain direction. That would honestly be really big. I would just have to figure out which direction that is, and then we're basically fine. Like, oh, Hold up, I gotta do a thing here. Climb. So there is going to be a lot of downtime on this. I will just straight up say that right now. So this is a great, like, let's connect chat stream. You know what I mean? Like, this is going to be a real, real interesting stream for, for us to just kind of chill. Definitely more chill than the, uh, the Super Mario 64 streams. That's for damn sure. I think if you do... I don't think I can push it again. So I'm pretty sure you can do this. I think. Nope, you cannot. Okay. Well, that is exactly what this quick save was for. Because, as I'm sure you've noticed, getting out of this area is going to be a complete disaster. Maybe we can push it one more time. How do they do that? I think you can change direction. When facing a solid wall and then you pull it out. That could be... That'd be really big. Honestly, any any mechanic that I can abuse in this bit of a challenge is, is huge. How am I doing today? I'm doing great, you know? I, uh... I was... No! <gasps> That's big, too! He falls off at that angle? That's annoying because I'm, I'm at this angle now, but I know that now. I'm, like, learning things. This is great. <laughs> I never knew... <laughs> this, this actually seems, like, reasonable. So, okay, if I come up here... Grab this bad boy, unzy target, and then reezy target. This is the stupidest idea ever. Yep. It basically it is. And uh I think I think we can do it actually. <laughs> I would say this is more stupid than uh like trying to get through a Mario game without collecting a coin. No, Link, why are you like this? Wait, what if we pull the chicken now? Okay, that doesn't- that didn't really do anything for me. Okay, so I need to pull myself up, then I'll be facing forward, wait for the animation to stop, Z-target, then move backwards. Okay. Boy. This is a- this is a thing. So like I said, there's gonna be a lot of downtime. Also, Retro Gamer, welcome to the stream. Please check it out. I appreciate you. Um, I think RDS said I- how I was do- I was doing pretty well today. But yeah, it's good. <laughs> Why such a challenge? I don't know, I'm just... So, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and spill the beans a little bit here. There was... I was actually asked to do a collaboration. And the idea of the collaboration was that we were going to, you know, each have a little bit of a... You know, bit of a challenge. And it was just a bunch of, like, Zelda tubers and stuff like that, which apparently I fall into. I guess I do. Yeah. Um... Keiko, welcome to the stream. Or kindergarten, sorry for... Messing that up. Whichever one it is, welcome to the stream. <laughs> I do in-depth thought-provoking stuff, and then this? It's true. It's true. I've always been a bit of a fan of some chaos myself, so... No! I've already messed it up. Well, actually, I... Damn it. Alright, reset the room. I guess we have to wait out here anyway, because we took way too long. So I guess it's Q&A time. How's everyone doing? Son of a... Now we have to... 
Okay, so, okay, got it, got it. So we run this way, release Z-targeting here, then, boom, we're faced that way. Easiest thing I've ever seen in my life. This chicken is going to be on my C buttons literally all game. That's crazy. So it's, it, when you face a direction is when the chicken allows you to change your orientation. <laughs> the inner child of NBK at work there. It's true, it's true. I wouldn't even say inner child, I would just say man-child. When is Axomania the handsome devil getting a blue wrench? I don't know. When I need, when chat needs moderated, I guess. Chat's like really chill, which is something I absolutely love. Most of the people who are gonna be like toxic and stuff just leave, because I'm boring. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, hopefully this works. Onyx, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking it out. I appreciate you. I'm hoping I don't get you caught, but okay, we're good. Sorry. Uh, yeah. What are we doing in this mod? This is actually just, if you can believe it. Oh, wait, do we get the swag rupees? Yes. Of course we get the swag rupees. So, we are literally just not using the left stick to turn. That's it. Anything else is fair game, except maybe, maybe, uh... Maybe targeting onto enemies. I haven't decided if I want to utilize that yet. But anyway. Yeah, just to... Uh, gotta get the swag blue rupees. And we're good to go. I'm not that boring. Aw, oh, thank you. Alright, well we're just gonna be here for a little bit, I suppose. Apparently some people do think so, though. Like the people that are like, why do you talk so much during your let's plays? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know how to search in no commentary in the search boxes. It's hard. <laughs> Those two words don't go well together. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's something. Anyway. I'm, I'm going to do my best to make it as painless as possible. Thought it'd be tedious and boring, but it's hilarious. I I love learning all this stuff. Honestly, that that's what's like the biggest part for me is I had no idea there's so many ways to reorient yourself in Ocarina of Time. Are you planning on moving so I cannot get captured? Thank you. But we actually can't use our chicken in here, which is kind of kind of really bad, actually. No, 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 he's here. Why do you talk in your let's plays? The world we may, may never know. You like just chilling here? I appreciate it. And welcome to the stream, Jacob. Appreciate you checking it out. Hope you're having a wonderful day and staying safe uh, during your isolation days, if you're allowed to isolate. Yeah. I actually don't think I've ever just played Ocarina of Time, which is partially what this is about. New to your channel, now you're sub. Seem cool? Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, if you happen to sub while during the stream, you will, of course, get your, uh, you know, your little pop-up and shout-out and stuff. So, if that is something that interests you. But yeah, thanks for the kind words, Fox Kitty. Welcome to the stream. Who? Who are you? How did you get past the gods? Oh, that is the most wholesome thing I think I've ever read. Um, Axel, thank you for that. It's nice to be able to talk with you. Yeah, that's that's what this is about. That's what the live streams are for, honestly. Is oh, you know what? The relay was messed up because uh, hold on, let me make sure I'm still doing this. The relay was messed up because I forgot to uh, do the restream bits. I was doing the wrong one because I'm real good at this. Okay, so let me try to get this set back up again. Okay, so now replay mode or relay mode shouldn't. Uh, do it three times. Yes, I have it. So whatever. <laughs> Hitting the maze section with the guards. It it can definitely, especially as a kid. You know when you're a little bit a uh, little less patient than me, which are two words that don't often go together. Patient and me, but you know, it's okay. You should be getting all three uh, all three sources of chat now, and hopefully it's not harassing you with stuff. Oh, if you're in the Discord and you kept getting harassed by me six bot. Uh, don't worry. I've put it in its place. I gave it a nice timeout. Uh, I gave it a timeout server so that it would stop harassing people, and I titled it... 
I can... <laughs> it's Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I put it in its own server called Please Stop Harassing People Me 6 Bot. So now I can choose when it actually uh, harasses people. It would be nice if they do their job, but I don't, uh, I don't foresee that happening. Not when there's a sneaky little boy running about. Well, it would really look like I do. I was just like in a commercial, like mm, yes, mm. ah, refreshing. I didn't even realize I was holding my can that perfectly. That's, that's marketing right there. Okay, like. If you're right or left-handed, no matter what, you're gonna grab it and the logo is gonna be visible on the side. That's big brain. I just realized this. Oh, so she's, she's talking stuff. I don't know. Oh my god, the Wind Waker stealth section. I wanted to learn the... Yes, it is a secret, sure. Um, Princess is talking to us. We're not listening. It's fine. So... <laughs> the... Um, we were saying stuff, and I lost it. If someone wants to remind me, that's great. If not, we're going to enjoy this wonderful cutscene. Oh yeah, Big Brain Marketing from Dr. Pepper. That's right. I wish I was sponsored by Dr. Pepper. They'd be making a lot more money than I am right now. Don't get me wrong. I am thankful for, <laughs> for what I got. But a sponsorship with Dr. Pepper, that's big. Hey, no turn. Are you listening? Yes, I'm always listening. I, whatever you said, it's I'm listening. What was my first Zelda game? Hmm. <clears throat> I would say probably Link to the Past, but I don't really remember it. I just remember that we had a Super Nintendo. So that one would ha like had would have had to have been that one, but the first one that I like properly played was this one, which is probably why I have such a such an affinity for it, even to this day. It's like this is my childhood. I actually <laughs> story time since we have boring going on right here. So I would always play on my dad's save files, and I like I was super cowardly. Like I didn't understand the mechanics. I didn't know how to fight. Yeah, I super understand the story, dude. Really do. Um, so... I got to the part... Well, he was at the part where you end up, like, becoming an adult, and you see Sheik, and I was like, Oh, Sheik is probably a boss. I'm not going to fight it. I'm going to go wake up my dad to fight Sheik. Yeah, because I didn't know any better. You become an adult, and all of a sudden, someone just drops in from behind you. I'm assuming... They're looking at kerfuffle, okay? Uh, what is my favorite Zelda game? Hmm, I would have to say I would probably have to say this one. I mean, there I like I like all of them, but this is definitely the one that I've like put the most time and effort into, and I still enjoy it. So that has to say something about it, right? Favorite one is Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is very solid as well. I I never really understood some of the hate that game gets, honestly. Like, people always complain about the three-day cycle, but, I mean, if, if you just, you know, play like it's a game with a three-day cycle, and if you actually know the Song of Slowing Time, then it's way better. Twilight Princess? Twilight Princess has a special place in my heart, but I don't know if I can call it my favorite. Twilight Princess was, like... Well, first off... I played it on the GameCube, so it looked amazing. But, uh, yes, I think just answer it and nod and smile. Nod and smile. Um, Aquatine and Majora's Mask are clearly the correct answers. Any of them are the correct answer. Anyway, like I was saying, Twilight Princess has a special place in my heart because that was when I was like. That was when I was really starting to appreciate like graphics and like the way that games looked so obviously the game looked amazing another game that looked really good was Star Fox Adventures and very atmospheric Noah welcome to the stream thanks for checking it out love some Ocarina of Time me too my man me too you better not be replacing my chicken and if you are you better be giving me something better all right well we got Zelda's letter so that's good 
BPR. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking it out. I appreciate you. Getting used to the three-day cycle was... Yeah, yeah, it's... Oh, man. Oh, God. Well, I'm pretty sure I was facing this way. All right. We'll just go ahead and use this angle. It's, it's a little bit off, so it's kind of funny. Ha, huh? anyway. Okay, I'm gonna actually contest something out with this little letter here. I can... Choose freely what direction I decide to go in with the letter. That's big. Okay. Well, this letter is now the most useful thing in my inventory. Letter gets replaced by the mask. Okay. So we we need to get a mask, like, as soon as possible after we lose this letter. We don't lose the letter. What are we, What's the first item that we get as an adult? I don't remember. Would it be... It could be the blue cuckoo, and we could hold on to that for a little while. We can use the bottle letter in the same way. Okay, good to know. I wonder if bottles operate in that way. The chicken has left the C button. I'm sad about it, too. I could drop fish in places. That's that's awesome. I, I'm happy. Well, okay, okay, so our first, first order of business is going to be to get a bottle. Pretty sure the easiest bottle that we can get is... What if we're moving a direction and pull out the ocarina, I wonder? Would that change our orientation as well? Alright, look. Calm down. Caleb a messed up Zelda's lullaby. Pretty sure that puts you on a list or something. The pocket chicken, that's it. Once you complete that that quest line to get the big Oran sword. I don't need the big Oran sword, it's true. It actually might be worse in this mod if we're not Z targeting enemies. Again, that one's still up in the air, but uh But yeah. Whatever we can keep permanently is honestly gonna be the biggest boon to us. And you know. Maybe part of the fun in the mod is, uh, you know, making things uh, purposely more difficult on us. If it ends up being too easy, then it's not even really a challenge, so. Alright, Death Mountain. Yeah, I know. I know. How can we slap? <laughs> How can we slap Ganon without Daddy's belt? Well, you know, sacrifices need to be made. We'll see. I don't think the big Oron sword quest is even possible with these limitations. Ooh, how does Apana work? We just can't use Apana at all. I don't think Apana can trot, like, side to side in this game, can they? Hmm. Yeah, because we wouldn't be able to go fast enough. I keep the claim check. Okay, so we keep the claim check. We need to see if bottles are, um... Uh, effective at turning as well. But first off, obviously we need to get a better sword, so go ahead and... Oh, I fucked up again already. Okay, reset my angle here. Shove myself into this wall, and we're taking this angle so we can go up the pipe here. I'm gonna accidentally... Uh... I'm gonna accidentally mess this up multiple times. I just want you to know that. And I don't mean to. Alright, getting up there is going to be real difficult, actually. I'm so bad. Oh, wait. I can just do this. Hold on. Boom. Easy mode. Doesn't seem like it works here, does it? Alright, calm down. Calm down. It's all good, dude. Don't worry about it. And then, boom. I forget how much the, uh... The shield is. Let me come in here and break some pots. If I can get in here, actually. There we go. I don't know, man. It almost makes it too easy. But it is big. So we'll see. I think this is going to be the easiest way to get coins for now. I don't know why it did that. I don't... Okay, right. So sometimes it just, like, messes with your camera angle but doesn't actually turn Link. Which is really weird and kind of awkward. The shield is 40 if you talk to the guard first. Oh, that's right. Doesn't he give you a discount? Is it 60 otherwise, or is it 80? Ooh. 
Anything that needs the hover boots will be impossible. Very possible. Also, Shabby, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking out. I appreciate you. Hope you have yourselves a wonderful day. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go talk to the guy at the gate because I think it's going to be faster than um, getting all this stuff. Actually, we're doing pretty well on stuff, so I can just kind of... Oh, never mind. No, this is way easier. Okay, it's fine. We'll just go ahead and brute force our way through this. I wonder how we would even get in that doorway without the claim check. Or w without something to this magnitude. He also sends you for the Keaton mask? Okay. I don't know if I'll do the mask, uh stuff, honestly. Do we lose the... We don't lose this check, do we? I don't remember. <laughs> the water temple is what ends the journey. I don't... I don't know, man. I'm... I don't know how I'm gonna fight most of the bosses in this. It's, it's gonna be a total disaster. You do... Oh, you lose it? No, that's actually awful. Okay, well... That definitely is a, is a problem. I guess we'll abuse it while we can. Also, welcome to the stream. Uh, Stigmat, welcome. Sorry if I said that name incorrectly, but yeah, welcome. I hope you uh, are having a great day. Mask overwrites Zelda's letter. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and... Um, if we have to come back for the mask, this doesn't really make sense. I'm gonna go, I guess I'll just go ahead and... Um, Go to the other place. No, get out of my face, dude. All right, well, I guess we're... See, that's why I don't like Z-targeting things. It's so hard to know when you're going to unlock onto people. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the discounted shield, I suppose. And if we're going to lose the letter anyway, then we're going to want the mask as soon as possible. Yeah, thanks for checking out the stream on the Mixer Client. I do appreciate it. Uh, we are, of course, you know, multi-streaming to three different platforms at the moment. So it's nice to see the that everyone's kind of enjoying it, and there is getting some use out of those other platforms. That's really annoying. Okay. I'm not sure if I... I made it out of the moat, didn't I? Where am I? It's true. Okay, I think I, I think I have an idea where we are. Yeah, we're right here. This is fine. No, stop it. Adam, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking out. I appreciate it. Do I think Breath of the Wild would be better than the first? I don't think I can get up this way. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it'll be quite as like critically acclaimed. Am I? Okay, I just needed some a, a better angle of what I'm looking at here. I'm gonna swim up the stream. It's not really working out. So, I don't know if it'll be more critically acclaimed. I'm sure that they will kind of, you know, refine a lot of things and they'll make th make like a lot of things better. So, I would assume um, it will be better, but maybe not as like hype or anything like that. Okay, I'm actually having a real hard time finding my objective here. I'm, I'm turning around. I almost forget that I have this thing. Okay, there we go. But yeah. I'm sure they'll kind of iron out some stuff. It's not the bosses you see being the problem, it's navigating places. It depends if we have the check, or if the check is even allowed, because... This check does make it easier. A lot easier, actually. Like I said, the Deku Tree, I, I had to like... It was almost like a puzzle game, like I had to... Uh, so I would have to like grab onto a ledge, then go into... Like, halfway across the other area to grab onto another ledge, and then... Uh, you know, then I could access the door or something like that. So it was definitely something. Fixes the rain? What's wrong with the rain? Um, I'm not really sure how to get this cuckoo in here. Okay, this is complicated. So this is the worst angle for me to be at, so I'm going to go ahead and 
change my angle. Try and grab this cuckoo. No, grab him. Stop it. So I'm pretty sure this is the fastest way for us to get a bottle, which if nothing else, we can put a fish in it and it'll be good for the memes. The Z button is basically locked. That's that's roughly what's going on. If I mean, if I can move without like like I can move forward as long as I'm not moving my orientation, I think that'll be okay. But basically, yes, the Z button's locked into place. It does kind of run into some issues in a, in some certain areas, unfortunately. But it's not too bad. Can you imagine trying to fight Dead Hand with this? It's gonna be extra spooky. Or like any re dead. Can't remember? No, it's the box down here that there's a chicken in. Or a cuckoo! Wrong button. There's one in this box here. Oh boy, I hope you're getting used to seeing that, because it's going to be happening a lot. Grab. No, don't attack. I always liked the rain. And the reason that I did like the rain in Breath of the Wild was... <laughs> a re-dead will change your angle. It's true, it's true. In the worst way... Kaku? I'm going to grab you. Okay. It is pretty easy. Also, welcome to the stream, Ruth. Um, I have a feeling that this challenge specifically is not going to be quite as simple. Um, this is actually going to be kind of really tricky. I, I have to just hope I can make this angle. No. Do I even need a bottle? What's so important to this bottle? Why do I want a bottle so bad? I'll get a bottle from Rudo. I don't, I don't need to do this. Get this cuckoo out of here. It's fine. We can just do the entire thing without a bottle. But honestly, this challenge <laughs> is not being kind to me so far. Oof, it's true. Imagine climbing when you have Rivali's Gale. That's why I just didn't. Never did it. It's true. I, I, I am not allowed to turn. I'm not allowed to use this stick to turn. I can do basically anything else. Mad Bat, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking out. Appreciate you. Hoping you're having a, uh, a great, great day. Hoping you're ready for some super chill. Bottle fish for turning. It's true. But if I have an item, then it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? Easier, easy money actually could be really good. Something funny, welcome to the stream. Uh, it is basically just don't let go of Z. Of, uh, Z. It comes with some interesting, uh, interesting implications. Want to climb Death Mountain? You should avoid... Yeah, proper shield. Okay, I'm working on it, dude. I'm, I'm checking it out. Calm down. Yep, I know. I actually never knew that they gave you a discount. Have a good day, Jacob. Thanks for checking it out. Hope your uh, hope the rest of the day is good. Hope you have a good one. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Let's go. I get it. I'm, <laughs> I'm just... I'm just ready. Keaton Mask is optional. As, as long as we have an item. And I think we're basically good to go. Oh my god, go! Man, I forgot how much chatting this guy wanted to do. No, I'm trying to keep my angle. Leave me alone. Alright, let's go get that mask. He just talks so long! It was like a million miles of text, dude. I for After playing the randomizer, I totally forgot how much that guard talks. <laughs> when quarantine has you so bored, it's it, yeah, no, no doubt. But you gotta do what you gotta do to survive, I guess. It's a, I don't think I've, I haven't seen this one before actually, so I don't know, maybe we're the first group. 
first group of people to ever think to play the entire game without turning, you know. The masks don't turn you at all. Oh, don't- oh yeah, you wear the masks, that's right. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not getting the- I'm definitely not getting a mask. Motivation, I'm guessing that's what that is supposed to say, but yeah. Thanks for checking out the stream. I uh, appreciate it. I hope your quarantine time is not too unbearable. Thanks for giving me some Zelda content. Of course, of course. That is, uh... That is what I'm here for. Hope you're staying safe. I'm, I'm glad you're able to quarantine and kind of, you know, just stay. Stay inside. I think there was a little bit of miscommunication there at the beginning to where I, I would actually lose the letter. Like, first off. Like, when I use it, like, I would give him the letter, you know what I mean? So I, I think I was kind of confused in that instance. I'm definitely not, <laughs> not doing that. But I gotta... You actually have to talk to him? What? I've never actually talked to a shopkeeper. Hey. Bro. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be giving me uh, a discount, isn't he? Okay, heard about us from the guard. Okay, there we go. So that raises the question, did I need the 80 and he's only going to take 40 or was 40 enough? I'm just saying, I could have gotten, actually, I could have just bypassed this and gotten it, uh, gotten the shield from the, leave me alone. Leave me alone, I'm trying not to change my angle, dude. Leave me alone. Bro, get out of my face. Leave it. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not at all really too worried about being stuck at home. I was basically stuck at home all the time anyway. I actually see the sun more and get out more now that, you know, we're kind of quarantined. Better becomes locked when you become an adult. Okay. I don't think I ever got the discount either. At least not that I noted anyway. I wonder how pausing, if there's anything anything abusable with pausing. We're gonna keep the letter out, obviously. Okay, so we got a new item, so we may have new mechanics. Doesn't seem like there's really anything. I'm glad you were able to check it out for a little bit. Uh, d definitely no reason to lose sleep. We'll be, uh... If we actually keep going on this, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> Uh, what is my favorite? Also, Miss Snowgirl Winter. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking out. I think I saw a message from you earlier and I missed it. I do apologize for that. Um, my favorite Zelda game? Probably this one. Probably. There are, I mean, every Zelda game has like a little bit of a, like a, a place in my heart. You know what I mean? Like a thing that I was doing at my life at that point. So every Zelda game to me is pretty damn good. But I would say this one's probably my favorite. If he made it, well, I'm probably, I'm definitely not going to do it all today. I actually, I apparently started a lot later than I thought I did. But yeah, have a good one. <laughs> we'll make it through together, maybe, maybe. The letter honestly is huge. The the letter makes this a lot easier. Which actually makes me believe that maybe the first temple in each area is actually going to be the most interesting. Because we can't just change our direction at will. We actually had to, like, stick with our choices, so to say. You know what I mean? Like, use the geometry and such to, uh, yeah. What about the CDI ones? I'm not gonna lie, I haven't actually played those. But that is a fair point. I, I almost put, uh, I almost put those in with the rest of the games. So thank you for catching that one. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, most of the Zelda games are pretty good. I'd actually actually thought about playing uh, the Zelda CDI games for the channel. Just for the funsies, I guess. 
for the memes. I don't know. Don't bump, please. So you can get the chicken before you go. Okay, that's good. That's good. Do I ever play a game normally? Oh, on my own? All the time. Like, I, I just played through all of Doom. No memes or anything. Just, just straight up Doom. 2016, not Doom Eternal. It was good. Quite good indeed. Oh, wait, I'm actually... Don't need to be here yet, actually. Yeah, I need to go get... Uh... Sarah's song. Can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. Oh no, he gives us... God, what does he give us? I'm actually kind of... So we come here. Play the song. It's been so long since... <laughs> when it's been so long that you've like... You forget how to play the game. That you've—I haven't actually played the vanilla game in so long. I'm like legitimately forgetting the sequence of things. <laughs> so, do I ever watch the Zelda cartoon? I did not actually. What the heck, Jean Marie? Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate you. The heck, who are you? Heard the song of the royal family. I expected their messenger had arrived, but no, just a kid. Oh, he does give you the bracelet like right now. Okay, that's great, actually. That's a huge shortcut uh, that we can utilize. I feel like I always just went directly to. I just went directly to get Sura song, or Saria song, Sarah song, Saria song. Anyway, so I always just went there directly after getting the shield, basically to bypass all this. Okay, so actually we do. You need Sarah Song to give him, for him to give you anything? Okay. That's what I thought, but I wasn't 100%. Please, I'd like to keep my angle if it's all the same to you. Thank you. you. Must hold the integrity of the challenge. So I did do that. Interesting. Alright, let's get this angle changed. Yeah, I was I was the same way, because I, I thought he gave you the bracelet, and that was a nice shortcut back, but that was uh, clearly not correct. But he does, at some point, give you the... Oh, uh, well. Oh, boy. Doing the Goron's gonna be a disaster. Does anyone know a glitch to get past those dumb rocks up there? Because that'd be real nice. Oh, I think it's left. <laughs> it made an oopsie. It, it's all good. I'm the one that's supposed to know everything about this game that doesn't... It's all good. Alright, so we head back to town. Actually, not being able to look forward into the Lost Woods is going to be kind of treacherous, actually. That'll be interesting to see how that kind of works out. We will see. Think you can set off a bomb fly with a burning stick? I don't remember either. Like, that seems potentially plausible, but I'm not sure. Also, damage. Feel free to myth bust that one. I will, actually. Because that, <laughs> that would cut out a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna do it right now, because I'm basically already, like, halfway there. I wish I had, uh, gotten that comment a little bit earlier. But that's what happens when you have extra latency. Also, just out of curiosity, um, it does say that I'm not... not sending enough... like, bandwidth to YouTube, or bitrate to YouTube for it to be smooth. Is it is smooth on your end? <laughs> just remember the layout. Fun fact about this uh, section of the game, actually. When I was younger, I just didn't have sound on my TV, so I had to find out the other little trick for it. No, don't do it. Stop it. <laughs> Can 
time difference between chat and when you see it has increased significantly? It's true, yeah. The, um... It was either that or have a smooth stream, unfortunately. I could, um... Yeah. It's a bit of a bummer. And I might, uh, I might go ahead and enact my other plan. I should be changing my angle here, actually. For easier movement. No problems with the stream? That's interesting, uh, Unknown. You, you you had said that, like, you always have problems with the stream. It's always super choppy for you. So, whatever these new settings are, they must be working out pretty well for you, which is great. I'm really glad. A chunky stream. We could always just play Donkey Kong 64, and then we'd be able to play as chunky. Never know. It'd be fun. I think that was actually one of my first live streams was Donkey Kong 64. Damn good game, honestly. <laughs> Even when you have the sounds off? That's fair. That's like, uh... It's fine right now? Awesome. Awesome. That's like, um... What, whenever you see an image, you know? You can, like, hear the image, too. It's... Very interesting that our brains can just do that. There we go. Oh, well, I will right, do it the easy way. Never mind, we won't do it the easy way. I'm incompetent. I will say this will probably be a bit of a shorter stream. DK64 over Banjo. Ooh, that is... That might be a little controversial. Donkey Kong 64, but you can only play Chunky. Is it possible? Other clickbait. Oh wow, that is way easier with the music. Real talk? When I was younger, like I said, I didn't have the music. Bird, you messed up my perfect grid I had going on. Bro, get out of my face. I know what to do. I've played this game for 100 years. No! Stop trying to bamboozle me! I think Banjo's very good! Who hurt you as a child? Okay, okay. Present your ar- pre Present your arguments. And I, I haven't played Persona 3, so I, I can't- I can't say anything about that one. But, uh... What about Banjo was not good? Of course you're entitled to your opinion. But I am interested. In why you have it. the forward one, I think. Yeah. And then left. Marco, thanks for checking it out. Have a wonderful night. Hope you sleep well. Uh, time zones are interesting, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Have a good one. Oh, this was a disaster when I was a kid without sound. Still is a disaster, apparently. Oh, that's right. You do the one that takes you off the map. Okay. So the the way that I used to have to do that when I was a kid was I would have to basically just get close enough. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Bro, just be chill. Bro, just be chill. He didn't do the second attack. Why are you not doing the second attack? You nubcake. He's only doing one attack. What is going on? I mean, I'll adapt, I guess, but... Bro, he was, he's not doing the full attack. Usually he does the wow, wow. Is that a regional difference? Are you planning on dying today? Oh, got me. Okay. Look, my boy. I'm actually really confused. Does anyone know why he's not uh, doing his second swipe? 
He's only doing the one swipe. It's actually blowing my mind right now. Well, I mean, we did it, so that's good. What was that all about? Does anyone know? Confusing me. He only double swipes when locked on? What? I guess I've never not- I guess I've never fought him without being locked on. That's super interesting. I wonder why they would do that though. I guess just to encourage you to use the lock-on mechanic. Super weird though. No! My transgressions. Deck nuts would actually be great. Nope, we're fine. Okay. Lost my nice axis though. It just blows my mind. I've never actually known that or noticed that. I'm gonna change my angle here too. Oh, that's right. Our sword's here, so we have... Don't have our roll anymore. Ah, oh, stop it. Leave me be. Do not wish to be damaged. Alright. Give me a song. I'm ready for it. It's interesting how you can play this game for so long and still learn new things about it. What if 3D Zeldas never got Z-targeting? I honestly don't think they would have been nearly as good, because it would have been very frustrating for... Like... You just stepped into this 3D space, you don't really fully understand exactly how to control it. it I think it just would have been a super clunky game. It would have been like, like, think of a game like Binding of Isaac, but you can only shoot in the direction that you're facing. Not a good form. You're supposed to be able to see the pixels. I'm not going to mess it up this time. I was actually worried about messing it up, because that's the that's the kind of the kind of guy I am. Say something. Say you're not gonna do something. Immediately do it. <laughs> Zelda, but with Resident Evil controls. Imagine. All right, well, that's the song we needed. I'm gonna quick save here because I don't remember the last time I've done that. Give thing. Burn series song. With a Mario 64 camera? I could see it. I could see it. I think it would be exceedingly awkward. Also, we're going to stop by the fairy fountain. Maybe we'll die. Um, not on purpose, of course, but we might. Imagine being me. No! I knew it. I meant to roll, but I had my sword out from like a million years ago. Okay. I was expecting to put my sword away during the cutscene. Apparently that did not happen, but that's fine. Actually, we needed a death warp back here anyway, so we actually ended up saving a lot of time by doing this. Maybe not a lot, but big brain time. Let's just let's just reset. Navi cam. Oof. Did uh anyone here watch when I played the um First person Mario 64 mod, where it was exceedingly nauseating. Yep, that was a thing. I'd honestly considered playing that again. Also, uh, <laughs> gamer, you thought you were gonna have an easy stream. Like I said, I don't know. Like the Elder Scroll 3's Morrowind, that's fair. I almost feel like if they didn't have that system in place, they would replace it with something else. So... I think, I don't know. It, it would have been a different game, and I think it may have actually, like, 
molded the landscape of Zelda games differently if they didn't think of Z-targeting. Because, I mean, when, when you think about it, like, that's a really unique idea. For the time, of course. I mean, now it's, you know, kind of whatever, but yeah. Watch it on VR, oof. What are the backflips like? Oh, they were awful. Imagine you're glued onto Mario's eyes. They were bad. <laughs> okay, so that's 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 the thing we needed. So we're welcome to head on over this way. Yeah, that mod was wild. They actually had to... So it was made by Kays. Uh, the guy who made, like, Super Mario 64, Ocarina of Time, all these amazing mods. Uh, he, he, you know, they've done some work that's not so holy as well. Most of it, great. But, like, the backflips, um, even just Mario moving his head back and forth, it captures all of that. You're literally glued onto Mario's forehead. And any movement that he does, you do too. So... Imagine you're trying to go forward, or specifically, if you're trying to, like, move forward slowly, you would, because Mario tiptoes and kind of, like, leans his head to the right there a little bit, so by tiptoeing forward, you would essentially be ever so, like, streaming, or, like, just, like, eh, doing this little bit here. It was something. Define not so holy. Oh. He did a Bowsette mod once as a commission. It was a commission. It, it was a commission. Commission. Okay. It, it was a commission. I have to say, he was paid money. And, you know, man's got to pay his bills, so. But yes, he turned Mario into Bowsette once. That is what I would define as not so holy. Also, Bup. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Link's neck is still very stiff. Uh, he has a very limited range of motion, as you can see by him jittering all about. So I think I welcomed you, Egbert. Welcome, uh, welcome. That was big. Very lucky, indeed. Yeah, welcome to the stream. I think I... I don't think I welcomed you the first time. But anyway, not important. I thought I had a message <laughs> for a second. It's weird when I hear... It's weird when I hear, like, Zelda sound effects, because I, I have Zelda sound effects set as, like, my ringtone and stuff like that. Thanks. I hadn't considered that happening, actually. Thank you. Thanks for forcing that upon me. <laughs> Straight to the boss fights? Well, you know. We gotta do them. I, I'm, however, going to, uh... Recover my lost life. Oh, no. Oh, right. You were talking about Kaze's boss fights. No, he's a... Boss fights are hard. What other games do I enjoy playing when I'm alone? I play... We're... Michelle and I are playing a lot of Overwatch. Zara and I were playing a lot of Overwatch. Uh, we're playing... We've been playing Paladins as well. I play Doom. I play a lot of FPS games on my own. We're playing another game called Nine Parchments. Which is, if you've heard of a game called Magicka. Um, it's like Magicka. Basically, it's Diablo, but you don't just murder everything. Super quick. It's interesting. I think it's on sale right now, actually. Uh, it's kind of a mess, but it's fun. With a friend, of course. <clears throat> what sound effects do I use? Navi used to be my notification sound effect because it annoyed one of my old roommates. And, I mean, we were just like bros, so we did stuff to annoy each other all the time. Just little stuff, not like, not like bad stuff. But yeah, Navi used to be my phone. Now I think I have the item get notification um, as one of them. And then I have the Song of Storms as my actual ringtone. And like on stream, obviously, there's, you know, different sound effects that you will hear through various things. Play more Hollow Knight? I haven't played Hollow Knight in a long time, actually. On the plus side, all this time that I get to mash the A button, 
at the minimum, at least, uh, this is a great time to chat. He is pretty fresh with the dance moves. I will give you that. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. Wow, how edgy. He's called me a little fella. Thanks for that. Okay, so I think our first order of business would probably be to uh, open up the shortcut. No, leave me alone. Try to get out of here. Without messing up my angle too much. The King Zora Weep? Oh, that should be... If I could get that in like a pack of three, like a weep, weep, that would be a good notification sound effect. That might be a good Facebook notification, actually, because you get those a lot, right? I mean, I have them all turned off, but you know, I have like group chats that I pay attention to. So that might be interesting to look into. This is the way, right? This is the thing I'm looking for? Yes, okay. So this is gonna save us a lot of time, obviously. Open. Nice, I missed one. I'm glad, real happy about it. Do we try to do the Goron right now? What do you get from the Goron? Is it a piece of heart? We don't really need a piece of heart. Actually, we might need a piece of heart. No, it's fine. We get a piece of heart from the jar, which I don't really care about the piece of hearts. It's just too much effort, right? The rolling guy, I'm pretty sure, is a piece of heart as well, which again, just kind of whatever at this point. Maybe once we come back with our own bombs, that would be a lot easier, but for now. Altair Nation, welcome to the stream. Or Altair. <clears throat> Sorry. I did not read. <laughs> I, I, I read those as two words instead of the one, you know, the way you're not supposed to read. Oh yeah, welcome to the stream, the first stream you've watched. Well, this is uh, a little slower than most streams that you'll probably see me doing, but hey, it's a good chill stream. It's a good chance to uh, really connect with everyone watching, so it's fun. It's fun. Made Navi animation. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I do remember that. That was good. That was good. All right, well. Go ahead and see if we can't get a decent orientation here. No, leave it. Meh. Well. The rolling guy is a bomb bag upgrade. Okay, that 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 could be useful. I gotta change my angle just a little bit. Here. And hope. Yeah, that's what I wanted. That worked. Interesting. I'm using the letter to turn somehow. Yeah. Um, I didn't know it was a thing either until just like a couple minutes ago. But if you, okay, say you're facing a direction and then you use a letter, you just turn to that direction. It's gonna make this significantly easier until we lose it. Then it might be, then we're looking to be real sad boys. A flying bug? Oh my God. That's actually bad. The worst kind of bug. That's the bad part about most bugs. If you're not familiar, you don't know if they have the gift of flight. They could suddenly become airborne. Then who spooked, me or you? Well, everybody, honestly. I could do... If I can remember how to do it, I could actually do a bomb hop here. I don't have the bomb bag, though. Leave me alone. I know there's fire, dude. I'm not dumb. I, I used my eyeballs when I came in here. Thank you. Is it to the left or to the right? I just have to guess and hope. Alright, that's fine. Now we're playing patient boys again. It would probably allow me to find the lamb sauce. That's not good enough. Okay. Noted. I'll have to try and do it the cheesy way. I guess it's not really cheesy, but... This would be awful in Master Quest. How come? So 
So, okay. So, Twitch still has better quality, but YouTube's not, like, all messed up today. Is that what you're saying, Egbert? Thanks for actually doing that. I, I, I do really appreciate it. These little, little optimizations are exactly what I'm looking for at this point in my, in my stream setup. Chost. So I should say, in the Great Deku Tree, before we had the letter, we needed, um, we had to, like, there was a chest that I had to save until the very end so that I could change my orientation again. Like, I don't think I've really communicated how much simpler this letter makes things, and how it's actually kind of broken. <laughs> but, but yeah, the letter is a uh, letter is like our messiah, basically. Edible, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking out. I'm doing a a okay. We're playing a real silly mode of Ocarina of Time. Oh, I messed up my angle again. Damn it. I'm cheating. Go. I actually don't think I need this guy. Hey, you're just a business scrub. Yep. Found the file. What file? I don't know what that means. Is there any way to use live chat for the Switch? I'm not sure, actually. I don't think so. I don't think it's uh, really implemented for consoles, unfortunately. But, of course, even if you're not... Okay, well, let's try and get a better angle here. Even if you're not chatting, I still do appreciate you being here anyway, so... Also, I'm not sure which file you're talking about, Axel. Truth be told. If we mess this up, there's a... a ladder over there. Pretty sure there's a... Oh, well, that's a boy I'd like to avoid. If at all possible. Shadowy Wolf, welcome to the stream. What did you miss? Not a, not a whole lot, honestly. We're basically just playing the game like it's a, an old-style Zelda game. I can only move in a handful of directions. I guess that's not even true at all. I've, I've lied to you and I apologize. Basically, we can't turn using the control stick. That's basically it. But it's okay, because we found out that this letter is literally the most broken thing I think we could have found. So we're good. <laughs> Even knows how to get the uh, heart piece from above the cavern. Oh, well, this isn't what I wanted. Actually, I will use this to change my angle, though. I'm not sure which heart piece you're talking about, honestly. Hmm. One thing I don't know is what in the world this little... Now, leave me alone. I'm not looking to get sassed up. I'm not looking for it. I hope I'm being attacked by worms. I know they're not worms, but they may as well be scary. Ow. Rude. So many simple skips that anyone can do. It's true, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, the letters are is our main method of turning at the moment. Originally, there was no method of turning. And that was interesting. But since we found the letter, we can turn this way. Also, Jax, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking it out. How was uh is everything exploded at the hotel already or how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys are staying safe. NBK, I, I basically am blind. I'm gonna be honest, a lot of things in this game specifically... Can I help you? Uh, I really can't avoid Z-targeting in this hallway, so... Oh, there we go. Okay. Don't touch! All right, first fight, let's go. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and get my combat gear out. Just 
still counts. Had one departure and one arrival. How many total people do we have in the hotel? Like zero, hopefully. <laughs> no, I missed. That was that was awesome. I loved that. <laughs> that little bit there. Got him. This is the first mini boss thing. It's actually not so bad though. Because he can't like grab you or anything, so you can just kinda corner up and use the deku stick or the deku nuts. Easy mode. Come hither. I'm gonna get him as soon as he jumps in. You ready? He can move towards enemies. It was actually one of the things that I had to do in the Deku Tree before I had the letter was... Oh, heart. Was... So there was a Deku Baba and I had to... No! Put that away, dude. I can't put my sword away. Can't put my sword away without the Ocarina. Does the letter put it away? I don't think so. Uh, also, Mecha, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking it out. In regards to your question, so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just holding down the Z targeting and you can still use the control stick to move like like this, etc. The only catch to this mod is that I'm not allowed to actually turn directly with, or this challenge, I guess, is I'm not allowed to directly turn with the stick. So like, I'm going to quick save here and just like, I can't do this. This is the only thing I can't do. Basically, but luckily we found this letter, which basically makes it so that we can turn at will, essentially, which is pretty awesome. And really makes this so that I think this is quite doable. Obviously, there's still going to be some, you know, trials and tribulations on the way there, but it's it, it it's manageable. Also, Wilson, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking it out. Hope you have yourselves a wonderful day. Don't remember if there's anything important in here, honestly. I didn't really want to lock onto you. What do you need? A Deku stick. Actually, I do need a Deku stick, so thank you. Thanks. Well, I got one. He turned run dead. It's true. <laughs> okay. I, I quick save beforehand. Can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. You know, I actually never even bombed the Dodongos. Huh. I thought they would inhale it, honestly. This is not how I usually did this these fights, by the way. But it ain't hard. How did you blue screen? Whoop. That's all I meant to do. Got him. Okay. So obviously, we're going to need that Deku stick. Robot guy, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking it out. Hope you're having yourselves a wonderful day. Uh, we are uh, running a meme speed run. Well, not speed run, just a meme run. That is upsetting. Isn't that the thing about Dodongos is that they're weak to bombs? They're just weak to everything. Well, that's where my sticks usually are. We know that now. Good to know. No. Leave it alone. I only got one stick. I can imagine this is going to go very swimmingly. Are these all in the line? Damn. Put it away before I burn my stick. Try downloading the Navi Weep Amnum animation and blue screened you. That is a yikes for me, dog. Honestly. Alright, well, wasn't it nice of them to put us directly into the, uh, the orientation that we needed to go? I 
to go around the left angle because I'm not an idiot. They're really quiet in this temple. <clears throat> I forgot to ask how are the audio levels and everything. Should be good. I've literally changed nothing, so hopefully they are good. I will say this will probably be a shorter stream, to be honest with you, so. Baby Dodongos can eat them? Like, like those, like the little guys um, that like jump all over you or with the, or the ones that inhale? Because I've, I've never seen them being able to eat them. Of course, who knows what mod or whatever put that in my brain, you know? Um, hmm. Don't remember. Damage boot, damage strats. Now we just run away. For our lives. Pokemon Sword and Shield no turn challenge. I would have to actually beat Pokemon Sword and Shield first to feel comfortable with that. What if we threw Deku Nuts to Dodongo instead? I don't know what happened, honestly. I don't think I've ever done that. When I was a kid, I did not appreciate how powerful Deku Nuts were. Link to the past, no turn 100%. Is this the next thing that I'm known for? No turn challenges? I mean, don't get me wrong, love the variety. That's probably fine. We'll see. Yeah, we good. Yay! Does anyone know... The Jumpy Small Boys? I'll have to check that out, because that, that is, like, actually crazy. I had no idea that was even a thing. Hmm. So to put it in perspective, that's the kind of stuff that I would have to do before I had the letter. Now I can literally just turn. A little disappointing. It turns it into less of a puzzle game. But, uh, but yeah, you know, we're still fulfilling the challenge. I'm, I'm going to see if I can get this same bit here. Because I do like the idea of, like, making it a puzzle game, you know. I don't know. We'll mix it up every now and then. Do one thing one time. Next thing the other. Are you sure this is the side we have to go for? Thank you, Keys. Very cool. Like, in this room, I don't even know if there is a way to get to this ladder without doing it. I can't roll because I have my sword out. That's nice. Uh, boy, this is an uncomfortable angle, isn't it? Yep, sure is. <laughs> a Zelda puzzle. No, my bats. It's even more of a puzzle game at that point. I'm so glad that that turned me. I'm so glad that messed up my angle. I'm not. I'm not gonna get sassed up by my my boy. I don't think I didn't see you right there, young man. Don't think I didn't see it. Do me a bump. Okay, he's not going to do me a bump. It's fine. <laughs> I see what you mean by overestimating your ability. What does that mean? I'm just looking to make this challenge an actual challenge. Okay. If I can just... Yeah, Navi. Yeah, Navi. Navi. 
Thank you, Nabby. Very cool. <clears throat> yes, Nabby. Thank you. Okay. Well, let's move forward. <laughs> I think it's a heart that's back here. Unneeded is probably the best way to describe them. But, uh... It wasn't even that... I saw them as useless. I just didn't understand they were basically the boomerang. But the boomerang... I totally understood the boomerang. I was like, the boomerang is amazing. It's like such a good weapon. It's, it's, it's awesome. So, I was on board for the boomerang. But, oh man, for some reason, my kid brain was just like, yeah, whatever, dude. Okay, maybe a backflip here, actually. Easy mode. Ironically, like, the one part in the game that's probably easier. Challenger, no. Goddamn, Keys. It's true, it's true. No, just get on the little nub, you, you, you nub. Okay. There we go. We did it. We are truly the boys. Yeah, see, like... That's the kind of interesting thing that the challenge used to have. Now, and now it's just a letter simulator. Sad boys. I'm actually not complaining at all. <laughs> it actually makes this challenge, like, maybe completable. Our first taste of, of, of shooting. Something, uh... Somebody had said once about the... Y-Link... Why adult Link can't use the boomerang was like maybe maybe it's made of like wood or something and it was just too damaged or something like it was just it degraded I think is what they said roughly which I think you know makes some sense oh god this part would be so much more tedious without the letter <laughs> yes enemies very cool Do your attack, so that I may counterattack. Can I get him from here? I don't think so. I actually don't think I can hit him at all. Okay, that's fine. Not a big deal. Bro. You're like one of the few things people actually put in mods. You think I'm worried? You chump level. Did you draw that unknown? I You've had that as your profile picture for a while. It is really neat. I don't think I've ever actually brought it up. Easy. Oh yeah, cool guy moments. That 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 that's right. So we've had a death. Uh, we've had we've had a cool guy moment. Oop, that was close. Um, the only thing I don't think we've done today is shouted out simple flips, which, I mean, we could, you know, rectify that at any moment. I think we're just not because it's not a Mario 64 stream. But it could still happen. Uh, we haven't done that yet. We haven't... Actually going to get a better angle here. We've died, so we're good there. What else are we missing on the bingo cards? Also, I can't do my roll, so I don't think I can actually make this jump without taking damage. Oh, we're good. Okay, cool. Oh man. Better angle, please. Oh, they really just did their best to, to not at all give me a better angle, huh? Oh, this reminds me. Okay, so break the challenge for a second. There's a secret in this area that I need to show you guys. So... I'm quick saving here, so I still have this angle, but check this out, right? Hold on. I'm pretty sure it's down here. I think it was in here. 
Now hold up. Am I actually being an idiot? I remember there being a thing in here. It was in the randomizer. It was this. It was this area, wasn't it? Maybe I'm mistaken. So anyway, in one of the randomizers, there's there's a chest back here, like a little secret. But I must be mistaken. Maybe it's in a different area as well. Okay. Well, anyway, back to the challenge. I'll have to uh, look into that one. So I remember there being something there. But I'm not finding it now. I must be mistaken. I forgot how good the ambience was in this area. You know, on the off chance that I ever just shut up and stop talking. Uh, huh. It was a little more to the left, but it is there, right? There is a thing there? That was cra- I had no idea. Right? I, I never knew about that. I, I found it out because of, I think it was, it was a mod, or maybe it was the randomized that I found it out because of. But yeah, no, it was crazy. Oh, I did not go far enough. I still don't think I went far enough. Now nah, I went too far that time. Alright, well, I guess I'm just jumping off. It's just a bunch of hearts, though. I mean, still, like, that, that, that that's really cool. Even just have that as a thing. Okay. Let's reorient ourselves. The proper angle. See, I thought it was a chest. Maybe it was a check in the randomizer or something. Voyager of Time hit the boomerang there. That's what I was thinking. No, wrong way. Uh oh. Actually, might be too late now. I gotta redo my angle. No, oh, put it back. Maybe it'll work. Did not work. Interesting. Is this a challenge? This actually might be the most challenging challenge we've run into yet. Also, dog? Dog cameo? You know it. If I don't mess up my my commands. I think we can do this pretty easily. I, I'm in a quick save here because I don't want to run out of pellets. Oh, missed. I actually think it might be faster to use the ledge technique than try to line it up with the letter, but I'm not 100% sure. We hold Z targeting to make sure that we're facing towards the ledge. Okay, got it. Took a little doing, but hey, we managed. We could use the letter technique. Well, maybe we could use the letter technique if we're competent enough anyway. That's right. You, <laughs> Some chests you have to untarget for, and I don't know why. <laughs> Bams. So I know that there is a technique that's going to be very useful that I don't know how to do. It's called like mega flipping or something, but I'm not 100% sure how to do it. I'm not, uh, not particularly skilled at it, so I don't think I'll be utilizing it. I think we can make it through without it, though. All right, so now that we fit the midway point in this... Area. I actually do think it is a good time for me to go ahead and call it a day for now. Thank you so much for checking out the stream. I do really appreciate it. I'm going to link the Discord and second channel where this VOD will be uploaded if you'd like to check it out. This is fun. I think I might, uh, you know, might do a couple more of these. And I hope you had yourselves a wonderful day. And I hope you're staying safe. Um, yeah. 
isolate if you can and just wait for it all to blow over and we'll be good to go. In the meantime, I'll be giving you some content to look forward to. Anyway, I'm your born Keelik and I will see you in the next one. I'm out.